up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the new 2020 chevy malibu courtesy of april chevrolet in york pa and so i do this one every single year i feel like it's always been one of my favorite sedans very high-end finishes in this one so what do you say let's just jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. And so as expected, there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 Malibu. First one being the L, starting at $22,970. LS for $24,095. RS, starting at $25,095. LT for $27,495. And lastly, the Premier, the one we are in today, that one is going to start at $34,195. But to allow a couple extra options in addition to all those trim levels, there are two different engine setups available first one being a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine belonging to all trim levels but the Premier that we have today. This one is gonna put out 160 horsepower at 5,700 RPM, 184 pound-feet of torque available at 2,500 RPM, sent to front wheels through a CVT, giving you MPG numbers at 29 in the city, 36 on the highway. But then the other engine setup, the one that we have today, the more powerful and enjoyable one. This is the two liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder putting out 250 horsepower at 5,300 RPM. 260 pound-feet of torque available at 2,000 RPM. Power once again sent to the front wheels, but this time not through a CVT, but a nine-speed automatic. Definitely the transmission setup that I would prefer. CVTs I've never been a big fan of, kind of emotionless, but either way. MPG numbers for this engine setup come in at 22 in the city, 32 on the highway. But so now having said all that, what do you say? Let's do a quick little acceleration in the 2020 Malibu. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <it's> spinning. <laughs> Definitely not too shabby. No issues with merging onto the highway. Kind of wish this one had all wheel drive because there was a little bit of spin in there, but still definitely a very impressive acceleration there. But so then as always to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so you will find four wheel disc brakes for every single trim level of the Malibu, including Duralife brake rotors. And as far as the braking feel goes today, I've had absolutely no issues. This one definitely comes to quite a nice stop. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna find a McPherson strut front suspension with gas pressurized shock absorbers and a stabilizer bar. In the back there is a four link rear suspension with gas pressurized shock absorbers once again and a stabilizer bar. And I do want to mention a cool little option that you probably wouldn't think was available for the 2020 Malibu. There are actually lowering springs available from the factory for an additional $695. And for those of you who don't know, I have modified a couple cars in my day and I have always put lowering springs on those cars when I have modified. So not only does it eliminate that kind of gross wheel gap between the fender and the tire or wheel, but it does provide better handling as well. So that is a cool little option I wanted to mention, but since I mentioned it touching on ride quality a little bit, definitely no issues with that. It has been most definitely soaking up Pennsylvania's road in perfections quite nicely, but I did want to mention if you went with the lowering springs, you would not have as good of a ride quality as if you did not have them. You will feel a little bit more of the road with those lowering springs if you went that route, but steering feel feels nice. It is pretty much as expected when it comes to that. Cabin noise, definitely quite nice. Not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin a little bit of air conditioning noise but that's about it and then touching on visibility a little bit i can see perfectly fine out the back that is most definitely not an issue great visibility i would even say in the chevy malibu so that is definitely quite nice but that is about all i got for the performance aspects of the chevy malibu let's go ahead and make our way to the exterior because the 2020 malibu definitely is a very nice looking car and so when it comes to the exterior of the 2020 malibu up front you will find the upper and lower front grille separated by the Chevy bow tie and I do love the black bow tie emblem up front there. Halogen headlights are going to come standard for all trims but the Premier of course. Premier being the trim level that we have today you will find LED headlights up there. Automatic feature will come standard for every single trim level meaning when it starts to get dark out those headlights will turn on automatically for you. Daytime running lights also standard on every single trim level that's definitely nice. You will actually get LED daytime running lights if you want with the LT and Premier trim levels but overall absolutely love the front grille of this Malibu Premier that we have today. 
definitely a very nice look to it but now let's make our way to the side chrome window surrounds will come standard on every single trim level malibu lettering found on both driver and passenger front doors that is one of the things chevy does for all of their vehicles it's a nice little added touch in my opinion I definitely like it at least, but looking at the side mirrors real quick, they are power adjustable side mirrors for every single trim level, and they will come body colored if you went with the RS, LT, or Premier trim levels, and heated for the LT and Premier, and you will get integrated turn signals as you were looking at right now if you went with the Premier that we have today once again. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, I feel like there's different size wheels for every single trim level on the Malibu. 16 inch aluminum alloys if you went with the L or LS, 17 inch aluminum alloys if you went with the LT, you will find 18 inch aluminum alloys for the RS, and lastly 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels that you were looking at right now if you were to go with the Premier trim level. So perhaps you are on a Chevy lot and you're curious to know what trim level you were currently looking at. Wheel setup would most definitely be one easy way way to know but also do like the chrome cladding around the door handles as well it's a nice little upscale touch but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back shark fin antenna up top along with the integrated brake light just below that if you wanted a rear spoiler that is actually going to come with the rs trim level led tail lights with the lt trim level and premiere that is one thing i really like on the malibu here these led tail lights at least the design in my opinion look absolutely wonderful once again the black emblem to tie it in with the front black emblem and just below it all dual exhaust outlets and thank you for leaving them exposed chevy so many manufacturers these days are tucking them away underneath and i just don't like that look but i do love this look and by the way those dual exhaust outlets that you're looking at right now they are going to be exclusive to the rs and premier trim levels otherwise you're going to have a single exhaust outlet for the l ls and lt but either way you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are around back, I did want to mention when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. Simply press that twice if you wanted to go that route. The other way is just simply lift up right on top of the license plate. It's just a little rubberized button just above that. Either way is going to open the trunk for you. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, however, there is a 60-40 split. Those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. And you did have some cargo anchors back there as well. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 38.1 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Or I should say, this is how much space I had sitting behind my own driving position. So still considering that good bit of space back there rear ventilation is going to come with the lt trim level mm -hmm. and premiere you will find a rear center armrest with cup holders for every single trim level actually and if you wanted to go with rear window sunshades that is going to be an option available for the ls trim level and up if you wanted to go that route but do want to also mention heated rear seats are going to come standard with the premier trim level that we have today and there is a 12 volt power outlet as well as a usb charging port just underneath of all of that as well but now let's make our way to the front seats cloth services you will find on the L, LS, RS, and LT trim levels. However, if you went with the Premier that you are looking at right now, of course, you will find a perforated leather seating. Perforated means, yes, they are going to be heated and ventilated, and you are going to get heated front seats for the LT trim level actually as well. Power driver seat is going to come with the RS trim level and up, and you will find a power passenger seat if you went with the Premier trim level. Then take a look forward at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It will come leather wrapped for the RS trim level and up. It is bolstered fairly well, so no issues there. Probably a little thicker than most other steering wheels, which is a good thing. That steering wheel will also be heated if you went with the Premier trim level. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Chevy logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, that button to pop the rear hatch, and that circular button in the middle, that is actually going to be your remote start. So for those super cold days in Pennsylvania, you can actually warm up the Malibu before you actually get inside, so it feels like you're in Malibu once you actually get in it. Ha! See what I did there? That was pretty cool. But anyways, push button start is going to come standard for every single trim level. So all I'm going to do is simply put my phone on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. 
And so, but once started up, I actually do like the gauge setup here. Tachometers on your left, fuel information all the way on your right. There is, however, a fairly large digital display front and center, giving you your speed, of course, as well as the digital speedometer front and center. And actually, there's several other things you can scroll through using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, including things like your trip information as expected, how many miles you have left until you hit empty when you need your next oil change. There's tire pressure information for each individual tire. There's a time on there if you wanted to see how long you've been driving for there's a bunch of stuff really you can scroll through there but taking a look at overall interior quality there will be a dual pane panoramic sunroof for the premier trim level that we have today definitely letting in a ton of extra light i love it and that is available for the lt trim level as well if you wanted to go with that Ambient lighting is going to come with the Premier trim level. We'll get garage door openers for the Premier. It is going to be optional on the LT. Also, wireless phone charger comes standard with the Premier. And there is also what looks to be wood trim on the particular Premier that we have today, just around the cup holders and the shifter here, as well as around the power window buttons on the doors there. And I do like the aluminum trim. It kind of ties together the vents. That's a cool little design cue there as well. But perhaps the best part that Chevy always does, there is an 8-inch colored touchscreen display front and center giving you Bluetooth and audio streaming standard as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay coming standard for every single trim level. This is important because this means you're going to get free navigation through your smartphone along with the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there and there's a ton of other apps you could check out using that. Factory navigation system is going to come with the premier trim level. You can also check out weather updates, your climate information up on that screen. Really a good bit including the radio information as one would expect. And since I'm mentioned it when it comes to the sound system on the Malibu you will get six speakers for the L, LS, RS, and LT however if you went with the premier trim level you will get a nine speaker Bose sound system so you guys know that is the one we have today so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> Very European vibe to that EDM, but quite interesting. Ton of bass, definitely no issues with that. Bose sound system has always been one of my favorites. I've had it in my previous cars. It has never failed me and just never broke on me, I should say. But definitely a ton of clarity, a ton of bass. No issues for me when it comes to that Bose sound system. But last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display, at least, is when you do put the Malibu in reverse, you will find a rear view camera actually for every single trim level, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard back there, rear child door locks. There is a tire pressure monitoring system. Chevy always has something also called teen driver mode. And it's kind of a cool thing. It prevents your teen driver from turning off the safety features like traction control, for instance, and having a ton of fun. Anyways, if they were to do that, it will get logged into the system and then you would be able to see that. So it is a kind of cool setup that they got there, at least if you have a teen driver. But also available safety features for the Malibu will include adaptive cruise control, automatic parking assist, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, automatic high beams, forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, and front pedestrian braking. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. Be sure to hit the subscribe and notification button if you are into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. Appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see y'all in the next video. Stay gold.